Stay tuned and let's take a look at this Marvel Legends Crimson Dynamo Wave Spy Master. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And today I have obviously saved the best till last in this Crimson Dynamo wave, aka the Black Widow movie wave, with everybody's favourite Spy Master. Yes. Even I had to Google who Spymaster was. Apparently, he is an old, old school Iron Man villain. And if you couldn't tell by his name, he's a spy and he's a master at it. He's a master at international espionage or industrial espionage or something like that. But he's famous for having a red gun. And in case you forgot, he's a spy. He has a giant S on his belt. Um, but still, it's a Z-Z-List villain that I love having on the shelf. Another new character, so you can't be mad at that. So he obviously comes with his famous red gun and then a builder figure piece for the Crimson Dynamo. On the side, we're getting that graphic design picture of Spymaster again on the back. We get a little right of the reads. An undercover operative skilled in sabotage, Spymaster possesses superb fighting capabilities. And then as always, you get a list of all the figures in this wave you need to complete the Crimson Dynamo Builder figure. Today we're reviewing Spymaster. So I do joke, but I am always happy to add new characters to the display and I don't have a Spymaster yet. So without further ado, let's get him open. So here we have a Spymaster out of the box and not a lot to see here, but he does of course come with the all important build a figure piece for the Crimson Dynamo. And this is the last piece I need before I can build it. So you know what to do, subscribe to the channel and come back as the next review will be the Crimson Dynamo build a figure. In regards to Spymaster himself, a uh, very plain figure. He just comes with his trademark gun. Yes, this is a trademark gun. He is known for having his little red accessory in the comics as well. And this is the same little gun that we just got with crossbones. And I do think we've had it before in Marvel Legends form. And what he does have, unlike Bucky Barnes of this wave, the Winter Soldier didn't have a working holster, but good old Spymaster does. And this gun goes straight in there. So thank you very much, Hasbro, a working holster. That is what we need. Now, in regards to the figure itself, it is basically blue and yellow. Uh, I think we've got a new head sculpt because there is some sculpting on the forehead for where his laser should be. Uh, as I said, he's got a big S on his belt for spy. If you didn't know, he was a master spy. But other than that, it is just, just the Bucky Cat body that we've seen before, uh, many, many times before. Someone tell me in the comics how, comments how many times we have actually seen it. I'd be curious to know. I'm guessing nearer the nearing the 100 mark, surely, maybe, probably, probably not. Um, but still, Spymaster, looking good. Let's zoom in, have a look. So as I said, there is some sculpted detail on this new head, if you can see on the forehead there. It's like some sort of little blue rainbow, because uh, that is where he shoots a laser out of his head. Uh, so the face sculpt uh, does seem to be new, uh, even though you can hardly tell, but it definitely is. Uh, some decent deco on the chest. Um, and then again, the S on the belt is blue, painted blue, but the whole belt itself is yellow. Uh, and again, the red contrast uh, from the gun stands out. But the rest of the figure is just yellow, blue, no real sculpted detail, um, just the plain old simple bucky cap. So there's no real need to go over articulation, as I'm sure everyone knows. And if you're a Marvel Legends collector without a bucky cap figure, where have you been? Where have you been? And just to confirm, he obviously does hold the gun. No problems at all. And as I said, if you do Google pictures of this guy, you'll probably see him holding his red gun in the comics as it is a trademark as his. He is basically an expert at like uh, gadgets and stuff like that. He's a spy after all. So it's what you would expect. He is an expert in industrial sabotage. Or at least that's what Wikipedia tells me. So as I said, we have seen this body mold many times before. Here is just one example with Blizzard. Now in the comics, he is one of Iron Man's villains. So here he is compared to the invincible Iron Man. 
Here is Spawn Master compared to the other two comic book characters in this wave with Winter Soldier and Crossbones. And to be fair, I needed all three of these characters for my comic collection. So I am very happy with this wave. And if you want to see full reviews of these two, check out the playlist of the videos tab. Here he is compared to all of the movie characters in this wave. And if you want to see full reviews of each one of these figures, check out the videos tab. And then lastly, but by no means least, here he is compared to a picture of my good friend. Unparalleled Universe. So there he is, Spy Master. Not a lot to say really, apart from it's a new, unique character we haven't had in Marvel Legends form. So if you're a completionist, or you just like adding new characters to your shelf, then he's someone you can't miss. And obviously you need to buy him if you want to build the Crimson Dynamo Builder figure as well. But I quite like the Z-list villains on the shelf. They're always the one where people point out and go, who's that? And then you've got a story to tell. And it gives me a reason to go back and read some stories. Um, but yes. Spy master. He's a spy. So you need to know. He's the master at it. But uh, you let me know in the comments below. Are you a fan of this guy? Did you know who he was before the figure was released? Always curious to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And most importantly, if you want to see all of the other reviews in this wave so far, then go and check out the videos tab, the playlist. But most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much, people. And as always, my name is Dan W and I shall see you on the next one.